Pat Phoenix. Uh, it doesn't seem long ago, and I think you'll agree. The first night of Coronation Street. Yes, indeed. I saw it on television, and, you know, I was really thrilled. I thought... I come from the North, as you know. Never. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I thought, these are real people. Real people, the real salt of the earth, the people I know, even if they were on the side of the border. I mean, being Lancashire, not uh, Yorkshire, I see, I see, yes, yeah. yes. Yes, but my parents were born in... Uh, it's all right, you don't have to excuse no, no. that. No, it's no. all right. <laughs> well, they had to be near the mothers at the time, right? I didn't, anyway. But, <laughs> yes. Uh, but what I felt is they're, they're real people, but I felt it won't last. The South won't wear it. Well, how wrong could I be? In yes, that? indeed. Yes. And so it goes on. How long has it been on now? Well, it's been on for 18 years now. Um, I escaped for three years, yes. but it uh, had to go back again. It's like a sort of dear octopus. And you weren't alone when the show started. There were many people, even in the actual building itself in Granada, that said, it'll never run, it's too northern and everything else. But I think for the first time, we showed North Country people that weren't comics with cloth caps and clogs and or weren't singers or anything like that. We just showed the sort of raw emotions of the North, the people that we really are with all the sincerity. And knew, the people you knew. Yes, yes, and, and the people that all North Country people really are, all that sort of um, laconic phraseology, like, uh, if you do that again, I'll clout you around the ear, which really means, please, you're hurting my feelings, but we don't say it that way, you see. I know the phrase. Yeah. But, yeah. <laughs> but the, the, three, the three years you were away playing truant, what, 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 what were you doing during that period? Well, I'm really basically a bit of a gypsy, and I went off... Um, I went off on tour. I went um, a bit around the world. I went to New Zealand and various other places, and I was playing straight plays. You see, I was doing um, I was doing all that straight acting stuff. You see, without the acting, um, the, the the North Country accent, and uh, I had a, a very nice time. But uh, there's something about the street that's terribly nostalgic, and we always say that nobody ever leaves it for good. And somehow it's true. They can all come wandering back again sooner or later. Whatever they're doing. How many have come back who've left it? Oh, dozens, dozens. Yeah. I can't. The, the cast list is enormous, as you know, over the years. I mean, tremendous cast list, various people, uh, named and unnamed. And we're waiting for you to come and ask for a part. You know, we'd be delighted to have you. I mean, <laughs> we think you're the only person that could keep Annie Walker in I, order. I might, <laughs> I might be coming back and back on the same thing. <laughs> but, but they are real people you're talking about, aren't they? Yes, I mean, what in Lancashire you'd call Janet? I mean, real. Oh, straight yeah, up, yes, yeah. yes, absolutely, Janik. Uh, yes, they are. Um, we, we are, after all these years, we're still as careful about our characterizations as we were 18 years ago, and it's got to be true. And if any of us do something a little bit off or, or it doesn't ring true, we discuss it among ourselves and really work at it. We work very hard to make mm. every character as real as we can make them. Um, for instance, I would love to wear a mink coat on television. Uh, but Elsie Tanner couldn't afford it or afford, afford some extra trimming. So we're not allowed to do things that go over the top like that. I think one or two have, though, but was rather dubious uh, oh, means yes. of earning it. I oh, think, yes, means of earning yes, not, not the straightforward well, not, way. Not, not no. for you, no, no. no. But, well, we all miss the Coronation Street family. No more than us. And, um, <laughs> indeed, uh, I was saying before you came in that, uh, I mean, members of the BBC crew here miss it as much as anybody yes. else. I suppose now, with all the time it's been going on, I mean, kids who watched it originally are now parents, could even be grandparents, I suppose, couldn't they? I tell you a lovely story about that. I, I was coming out of a shop or some function or something, and a very, very dishy young man dashed up to me and threw his arms around me and said, I've been in love with you all my life and ruined it ever since I was two, he said. <laughs> <laughs> ruined it. Tell me, living with Elsie Tanner, which you do... Yes. Is it a burden? I mean, do you uh, sort of... Uh, it's complete... Can you, can you escape from it? Uh, no, no, no way. It's complete schizophrenia. It's like... You see, when we... I was just a, an ordinary woman. I, I didn't aspire to very much. I was an actress, and all I wanted to do was bring Shakespeare to the millions and marry a millionaire and have a castle. And nothing very, you know, I just wanted a few simple things in life. And I walked into an audition in Coronation Street, 
And what they didn't tell us was about these alien characters that were going to take us over. I mean, my name was Pat Phoenix, and I sat down, and they said, will you read that? And I read it, in this sort of North Country virago with two grown kids and a terrible temper and rather a penchant for the gentleman, you see? And she took over. I mean, it, it's an alien being. It is with all of us. I mean, we don't live here anymore. It's just, just bodies with these creatures called Hilda Ogden, Annie Walker and Elsie Tanner walking about inside And us. you find that people uh, sort of believe that it is real life, that you really are uh, Elsie Tanner, people you meet, or do they recognise that you... Well, if there's a wedding, they get congratulation cards and all the rest of it. If there's a funeral, there's wreaths and everything mm. else. And But I think, in actual fact, that people... It's 50-50. They want to believe. They want to believe in that community spirit. They want to believe that we are all as nice as with each other, off as we are on. They want to believe that we live as tightly as we appear to do on the screen because it's an old-fashioned standard. Many communities have gone, and we're that back street that lots of people knew, and they, wherever it be, <coughs> in the East End or Hong Kong or wherever it is, that's what Coronation Street stands for, people being together, a bit nosy, interfering in each other's affairs, having the odd row every now and again, but a community, nevertheless. And I think people want to believe in that, and that's why the characters have become so beloved to the public, I think. And when they die, even even in real life, I mean, when people die... Oh, give us a chance, love, I mean... There have been, there, there have been one or two, haven't there? Yes, there have, That's what yes, I mean, and yes, it's, be, it, it, it's been like personal sadness. Well, now, it is a personal sadness. You referred well. to, didn't you, you referred to uh, Shakespeare just now. Now, you'd better watch it carefully, because I'm president of the Royal Shakespeare Theatre Company with no qualification. Have you got so a well, job going free? I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm out of work at the moment. What I was interested to ask is what, uh, is, is, you know, what parts in Shakespeare would you really like to play? Well, no, and having reached these years of mine, this year in yellow, as it might be, there's only one, isn't it? It's really Lady M, I should think, or Juliet's nurse. But I... <laughs> what, I, about, I what about Juliet? Uh, no, I, well, if you're going to play Romeo, OK, you're on. Yes, we'll do it. <laughs> no, um, I think uh, in my youth I did play Shakespeare, Desdemona, and mm. things like that, but now I'm a bit past it now, I think. Now, tell me... Say no. <laughs> Tell me, go on, tell me. What, what have I got to tell you? Well, I was going to ask. I mean, I didn't. I didn't. <laughs> the, the, audience, chance, the, no, the, no. the audience no. said no. Yeah. But do you miss the rest of the cast during this uh, period when you're not on the air? Yes, we do. We do. Mm. We're very, we're very matey in actual fact, and we all know each other's business and. Uh, we, we talk to each other over the phone because we live some distance away from each other and we're all uh, well aware of um, what's going on at the studios or trying to find mm -hmm. out what's going on in the studios and we discuss all our private affairs, <coughs> how we're managing and like, please, can we go back to work soon because we've got no money, sir, please, you see. It's, uh, that's what's going on. Well, we all hope you're going to be back, obviously. Yes, yes. Don't we? <laughs> thank, you thank you, thank you. Now, look, uh, it has been established that you are a genuine Lancashire person. That's so. Uh, no one more genuine. Uh, and you were born in Lancashire. Yes. Uh, but you get on all right with the Yorkshire people, do you? I mean, there used to be a Wars of the Roses, but we've got over oh, that now pretty well, haven't we? Oh, it's the same thing now, yeah. isn't it? I mean, sort well, of no. anywhere uh, past Yorkshire and Lancashire, mm. well, they're foreigners, aren't they? I mean, I mean, we're the same, uh, one and the same Yorkshire and Lancashire. Pretty well, except it's sort of uh, when Yorkshire play Lancashire. Oh, don't start now. now. You see, you're starting well, it all... Well, we're just going to start it, you see, because I've got news for you, but you'll have to get used to this. Because we now have a Yorkshireman coming in, and you are outnumbered two oh, to one. Oh.